Hey everyone, today I'm going to discuss the use of the NXT or the EV3 bricks in FLL. I'm going to answer the age-old question, are you putting yourself at an advantage or a disadvantage by using one or the other? And the answer may actually surprise you, so stay tuned. So the first thing that I'm going to address in this video is that yes, the EV3 brick does have an advantage over an NXT in an FLL competition. However, what I want to discuss in this video today is whether or not it's as big as an advantage as many people may think, and whether or not or how you can overcome this kind of gap between the two platforms. So it's no secret that the newer EV3 brick is more advanced and has more cool features and bells and whistles than the older NXT brick. However, when you actually get to an FLL competition, I find that there are only three advantages the EV3 has over the NXT. The first is that the EV3 has an extra motor port. The NXT only has three motor ports, whereas the EV3 has four, and it's helpful to be able to control more motors uh, on an EV3 robot. The second is that I personally noticed that the odometry on the EV3 brick is a little bit cleaner. The NXT, the uh, wheel motions will be a little bit sloppier, and the third advantage that the EV3 has is the gyro sensor. Now, some people may debate this with me. Some people may not see that as so much of an advantage because some people do have a hard time using the gyro. And if you do, I suggest seeing my past videos where I discuss how to make the gyro more reliable. But anyway, those are the three main advantages an EV3 robot has over an NXT in an FLL competition. That's an extra motor port, cleaner odometry, and a gyro sensor. Now right off the bat, after having said that, it may seem that the EV3 has such a big advantage over the NXT when it comes to FLL, but the truth is these advantages can be countered. The first advantage, having an extra motor port, you can counter that with an NXT by using dog gears, like I've explained in a previous video. Dog gears will give you more use out of one motor, and frankly I only used three motors through my entire career in FLL. So, there's no, you can eliminate the need for a fourth motor by building smart, being efficient with your attachments, and using dog gears to get more use out of the motors that you already have. The second advantage, which is cleaner odometry, more accurate motion of the wheels, can be overcome uh, with the NXT by using smart programming. And this is just something in general. Whether or not you're using NXT or EV3, you shouldn't be relying purely on odometry alone to get around the field. And of course, odometry is just um, sending your robot to drive a certain number of rotations or degrees, then turning for that number of rotations or degrees. Um, that's basically just relying on the encoders to get everywhere, which is something you shouldn't do. Using line following or line squaring or wall following or gyro following, literally any number of programs that you can add into your already existing program will help overcome this gap. The final one, the gyro sensor, um, having, not having a gyro sensor on the NXT can be overcome in just the same way as I mentioned before, uh, by applying intelligent smart programming and good innovative solutions. You can make your robot more reliable. And finally, you can also program in NXT using the EV3 programming software, which is something I've already discussed before, definitely something I recommend you looking in. And by using the EV3 programming on an NXT, you unlock a lot of the features that the NXT was missing in NXTG software, like loop interrupts, there's a whole bunch of features, and you might also find it easier to understand. So that's one final way you can overcome this gap between the NXT and the EV3 if you're still using NXT in competition. Another important thing to consider is that scoring points on the FLL table with your robot is only a small portion of the overall FLL competition. You also have judging rooms, namely the robot design judging room. And of course this is where the judges will ask you questions about your robot as you've designed it and everything. And this is where the EV3 and the NXT, neither of them has an advantage over the other. Because the judges don't care about what platform you've used, whether it's EV3 or NXT, new or old, whatever. What they're looking for is innovative solutions to the problems that you've been given in the robot game. And that's what's really going to score your points here. Um, the judges, like I said, regardless of whatever platform you've used, they're looking for whether or not you've innovated, you've used creative solutions, something cool like if Johnny used dog gears or Sally used worm gears to pick up a heavy load 
and they're also looking for mastery of the engineering concepts. So if you can show the judges that you fully understand how you've built your robot, you've used these innovative solutions, that's what's going to score you points. Doesn't matter whether or not you have the newest EV3 or if you're still using an NXT. So here's the part of the video where I'm going to add my two cents here. I used the NXT through all of my years in FLL, even after many of the teams started switching to the EV3s. Um, I just I used NXT all the time, and I was still able to get second place in my regional championship with an NXT, uh, going up against EV3 robots. At that time, it was kind of like 50-50 proportioned EV3s to NXTs because it was still a transition year, but still. It goes to show that an NXT robot, if you apply smart programming and quality innovative building, you can beat any number of EV3s out there. It's more about the skill of the building and programming that goes into the robot than what the robot is actually made of itself. I know I kind of sound like some weird motivational speaker, but it's true. That's my life experience. So coming to the end of the video, what is the bottom line of all this? What I've concluded through all of my, my thinking and my personal experience is that yes, the EV3 does have a slight advantage over the NXT in an FLL competition. However, its advantage is slight, like I've mentioned, and it's not something that can't be overcome by an NXT team if they use smart building, innovative programming, and just in general just creative ideas to bring their robot to that next level. And this goes for NXT or EV3. It's not so much about the platform that you're using so much as, like I said, you're really bringing your robot's technology, your innovation to that next level. And I've even shown in my experience that uh, as long as you follow this, you should have no problem beating an EV3 team at the robot game. And one final thing to consider is that the robot game is actually a small portion of the FLL competition. And a lot of people seem to forget this. Remember that you're also being judged in the judging rooms on your core values, on your project. So since the robot game is a lot smaller of a part of the FLL competition, it is definitely possible to win an FLL competition using an NXT robot. Maybe a little bit more difficult, but possible. So don't fret. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.